came back down here, I had about 30 minutes to pack. Just grabbed the computer, grabbed the passports, the cash we had, not a whole lot. I grabbed a garbage bag full of clothes for each of the girls and the wife. We're standing in the waterways region and it's one of the three affected areas most heavily hit and it's brought a lot of problems and it's been almost a year now and as you can see not much has happened. The wife has had some better days, she, she has her moments. The biggest problem is our kids, our oldest is four and it's unfortunate she had to live through this and she understands, we, we think she understands, but it's been dominating her speech, like she's always talking about the house being burnt and not so much of what's new, what's coming, right? It was disappointing, you know, seeing everything I owned go up in flame, but there was just so much going on at the same time that uh, I didn't really have time to dwell on it at that moment. It was, it was the reality of our situation and you know, standing where you are now, watching my house burn right behind me, uh, there's nothing I do about it anyway, so it was time to pick up and move along and see what we could do for somebody else. It, it was hard to, to realize that, you know, everything I owned, and everything my mother saved for me when, when I was a child, like my baby books, I, my first teddy bear that I had since I was three months old, all that stuff was in storage in my basement. So all those mementos that uh, I'll just never see again. We were in a duplex before, so now we're going to a single detached home. It's, it's a little bigger than we had before, uh, so it's pretty exciting for us. And I love what I do here. My wife enjoys her job, uh, so we're staying. So to me, there was no, no second guessing where our, where our spot was. remember it was a building and it was still my family lived there and still my parents lived there and still all my belonging all my stuff here but when I left and came back a month later you know in my mind I was hoping that see at least one wall maybe get missed maybe it's still around maybe something still hiding behind it I'll collect it but no it was nothing the fire came and changed everything yeah. Everything, like tour, everything was sweet and, and looks good, everything, now it's ruined. Your body knows what happened a year ago. Um, I'm trying not to really dwell on it and stuff like that, but I, I think I think it's going to hit people in different ways. You know, the, the catchphrase was return to normalcy after the fire, and, and for all those people that lost their homes, there was no normal for us. We had to find a new normal. And, and again, once we're back in our neighborhoods, uh, we'll have to find that again. start right from the ground up again so in the end it's silver lining trying to look at all the positives versus all the negatives that's what kind of kept us going. <laughs>